you've seen the speeds, the maneuvers, the amazing rush to transport Mara. from the self-proclaimed kings of the road. But how do they attain such speeds? How does a fully loaded Mira car take 2 hours and 15 minutes from Meru to Nairobi when a PSV would take 5 hours? And how come they have few or no accidents? Just how are these vehicles always in top gear and never mind their heavy load? Let's find out. Ever wonder why, apart from the speeds, the Mira vehicle causes little or no accidents? That they have an enviable and almost impeccable safety record even as they carry heavy loads at almost breakneck speed? Well, Mohamed Warsame, who has been a driver for over 11 years, tells us why. He says it's not as easy to become a Mira driver. Na hiya driving school ineza kuwa upewe two kilometers wende shei gari vile kuingisha gear na kuitoa peke yake. Hii kwanza mimi nachukua experience ya macho. Vile huyu driver anaendesha gari. Vile ana engage, vile ana disengage. Kutoka hapa mpaka Mandera ni 1500 kilometers. Nimekaa nae mwezi moja bila kudara hiyo gari. Sasa hiyo macho imekuwa total experience. Okay, siku ile atanijaribu kuendesha, atajaribu kunipatia hiyo gari niendeshe, sio atakanipatia kilomita moja. Unaona? Nitaendesha akiniona niko sawa, ananiambia okay, twende kazi. Lakini at driving school mimi mwenyewe nimepitia. Uweze endesha zaidi ya 2 kilometers, 3 kilometers. It's clear that the speeds then are a work of a rigorous training and eventual vetting process of their own. After all, the Mira brings in about a million shillings turnover per trip. But why the high speed? One may be tempted to ask, why can't the cars and drivers stop over and take the trip the next day? Well, it's all about the quality of cat or mira as we call it. Na ile kitu inabeba ni very perishable. Unayogopa yungue. Unayogopa iwe expired because it is one day expired. Ile umebeba leo ukipeleka kesho, kesho kutu wezi uzo kwa sabu kesho kutu wakuna ingine itenda. Man and machine, the mix that makes the Mira cars tick or move at super speeds while laden with a huge load. But there exists a backstory. In Maua in Meru Town, we find this garage. Now, it's not your ordinary garage. This is where critical modifications are made to the vehicles, the Mira vehicles. It is here that the cars are tweaked to make them super perform, if you may use such a term. It's an intricate and delicate affair. But because of the speeds and huge loads, it is a really costly affair. Okay, kuna bush, ambayo unaenda night trip mbili. Each ni 500. Kuna belisha bush inne. Okay, it's toshe, kuna brakes. Break ya mbele diski gari na tumia trip. Tatu ama trip ine. It is 12,000 shillings. Ikienda 4,000 kilometers. Inafanyua engine service, oil service. Oil service ineza kula kitu kama elfu kumi. Nima gurudumu, kila moja inauzwa shilingi elfu shirini na mbili, shirini na tatu. Magurudumu ya mbele na ya nyuma siya sawa. Ya mbele ni yobeikali kulika ya nyuma. Ya mbele moja ni 35,000. Kwa sabi ya barabara mbaya, highways to me six trips. But perhaps the biggest modification in the car is the additional leaf springs. That's why no matter how heavy the load, the car remains stable. And does not incline like other loaded cars. Once the modifications are made, then it is time to get the car on the road. Perhaps an interesting thing about the vehicles is that different types exist for different places. These Toyota Land Cruisers travel to Mandera and parts of northeastern Kenya, an area that has some of the roughest roads in the country. Gari kifunji kamari ni hasare ngine kubwa. Lazima wangane taya gari na mawe na miti ndowe unangalea masho hivi usuki zima. Hata bangine maisha yako ya masho itakuwa kidogo sana. 
Then there are those that go to Nairobi. And the latest entrant after the night travel ban, the lorry that itself has been modified. Look at the sides, cut off for air ration purposes. These vehicles will leave Meru and head straight to Mombasa. They too do a considerable speed day and night. They are on the road to deliver Mira. The Mira business is the golden goose for residents of Meru County. Like any business, it is constantly evolving and its many beneficiaries have the necessary motivation to adapt to the ever-changing business dynamics. They say they will continue to find more ways to make the green gold that is Mira put food on their tables and see their children go through schools. Willis Raburu, Citizen TV, Meru County.